Mid Journey version 5.2 is now live and it's a set as the default method currently for testing and it has improved aesthetics and sharpness in its images. Also, there's a slightly better coherence and understanding of the text you input into it and increased diversity when creating your images. But this may require some re-rolls if you want to get the image you're after. Now you can type in your prompt and you can type in dash dash v space 5.2 if you want to use the prompt, but it's actually on by default. So even if I go to slash settings, you see MJ 5.2 is active. So we can basically start typing straight away. So I will type in my prompt, hit enter, and I've got my image made with Midjourney 5.2. One thing it also has now is a high variance mode, which means turned on by default, it creates more varied images when you're actually creating your images in Midjourney. And the way it works is after I've upscaled my image, you'll see here we've got very strong or very subtle. This means you can create variations of the image and it will make subtle changes or strong changes. So I'll try strong. I'm gonna say neon lights, hit submit. But I'll try the same again with subtle. So you can see our original cat image here, and then you can see the subtle remix and the strong remix. And it looks like there's a lot more variance in the strong one, but also some slight in the subtle. So that way you get a little bit more control when trying to remix your images. It also has this new shorten command, which will analyze and suggest ways to shorten the prompt by removing some of the less effective words that may be just sort of crowding it and messing with what you get. So shorten does not work with multi prompts, but it is actually available to version 5.2. So I have this new long prompt that I've decided to use, but I think it's also a bit too long and won't necessarily be that effective. If I head to Midjourney, I can type in shorten and then paste that prompt in there and it will give me several options I can use that are much shorter. And I can just simply hit one of these buttons to roll it. So I can actually just say number three, click number three, submit. And you can see it has a much shorter prompt and if I click on the image, it's produced this image. So shorten can be a great way if you think your prompts are just being a little too detailed and you want to efficient, make them more efficient in some way. Also, there's a zoom out function where you can zoom in or out of an image and change the aspect ratio of some of your images. So back with my original image here, I can zoom out by two or 1.5, so I can double that. So I'll hit zoom out by two and it's gonna produce a image that is zoomed out. But I can also hit custom zoom and change my aspect ratio. Perhaps I make it nine, to 16, hit submit, and we can check out the results. And you can easily see how the image on the left has zoomed out and basically doubled the space. So we've got all this space around the cat and then the image on the right, which is a change in aspect ratio, has kind of built around that to match that nine by 16 aspect ratio, which is a really cool feature. There's no change in image resolution with 5.2 compared to the previous version. But uh, so square images are still about 1024 by 1024 pixels and they can vary depending on the aspect ratio. Uh, but even zoom out, it doesn't add resolution to the image it just shrinks the original image into the center and it actually still produces the same size image as what you had before, but this means you'll lose detail compared to your original image on certain on that area that's in the center. So you may need to combine that in Photoshop or something if you want to keep that center part of the image at full resolution. Now I've decided to compare some prompts again as I did last time. So version four, we have this dog. Version five, we had something else again. And as last time, version 5.1 got a little bit more artistic and opinionated. But version 5.2 has a bit of a different look again. We've got more ink dripping. We've got a photo realism sort of dog in the top left. There's a lot more variety in these images. And again, they are definitely sharper as mentioned previously. But I wanted to add more detail to the prompt as well because dog is very basic. So I added a red dog running through the city, bone in mouth, crowded streets with overexposed sky, photorealistic 35 mil DSLR. So we've got this image from version four, which uh, looks pretty ordinary. Version five looks much sharper and better. 5.1, again, adds something a bit different. Version 5.2 has added a lot more personality to the image and it has that real photorealistic look and just has really uplifted what it's capable of, of creating. It's a much more pleasing image to look at. I also decided to try some abstract prompts to see what kind of results we could get there also. Once again, warmth and happiness, version four has a nice warm feel to it. Version five actually had more cold in it than warm, which I mentioned last time. 5.1 actually added a bit of warmth, but 5.2 again does the same thing, but I do believe the quality of the images is better. It has a much cleaner look to it, and it's still better at giving that feeling of warmth and happiness. Now I want to test out human faces as I did last time. So once again, version four, we had these images. They look great, but when you look close, there's still a few issues. Version five looked pretty much photorealistic and pretty decent. 
5.1, stepped it up again, had greater aging and sort of a, more of an improvement on the details of the face. 5.2, if you can get in close and have a look, the faces do look that bit more real. I can't point out exactly what it is, but some of the little weird details that might your eye might pick up, there's less of that. And uh, one of the images has a bit of fire on the guy's face, but overall, these are much better faces than say version four, definitely version three, but they're improving with each step. Now I tried out a few different ideas, some the same as last time and a few different ones. Again, we tried out the Terminator as a Pixar character, and you can tell, if you were to compare it to last time, you can see it's much sharper if you have seen that video, but overall, the images are much sharper, much cleaner, and it's a massive improvement. Uh, and got rid of, a lot of those, some of the fuzziness you might notice in the version 5.1 images or earlier. Pikachu as a karate master is a new one. I wanted to see how it would try combining two concepts and it's done a great job with Pikachu. Even the way he's holding the blade in the bottom left hand is actually much better. So it's actually producing more difficult images much better. So things like martial arts poses are generally difficult, although it has messed up the belt in a few areas, but this com combination has been pretty solid. Now the waterfall, in nature with a purple sky once again just trying to get something a little bit different this looks absolutely beautiful like a work of art i think it's done a great job even though the top right one has a weird kind of waterfall which is kind of the sky in the waterfall but it's uh, overall it's really good and um, there's definitely some variety in the layouts of these images which is pretty cool i also tried abstract vhs glitch art and i've done a lot of this in the past and i'm going to say that this is a really cool effect great for abstract sort of uh use or overlays and this looks really good, and although it's not something that's really necessarily improved, I do like what it's done with this more than previous versions when I've used the same prompt. But that is version 5.2 out now for testing on mid-journey, so check it out, log in, give it a go, see what results you get, have some fun, and uh, that's the video for today. Thanks for watching, I hope you like it. Give the video a like if you did. Otherwise, I hope to see you again next time. Have a great day.